Hey guys, Reno here from Living With Pixels. So a few weeks ago, I went to WordCamp Europe, the yearly event of WordPress where you can see a lot of interesting developments about WordPress. And for me, it was the first time, so I was finally able to talk with many of the companies that we work with as web designers on a daily basis. And I wanted to pick their brain on what they think the future of WordPress is going to look like. So in my two days I was there, I tried to get an answer to that question. And I actually found a really interesting perspective about the future, which I want to share with you. So up until now, the WordPress world is a lot of separate hosting companies, plugin companies, and page builder companies. But slowly, these companies are getting bigger. They make more money, so they have more options. They acquire other companies, they hire more developers, and they create more services to offer to their customers. For example, SiteGround now has a optimizer plugin, and it has a security plugin, which will allow you to get rid of a lot of other plugins. And they have this SiteGround starter plugin, which will help beginners to set up their website uh, if they're not really sure how to do that. Elementor, on the other hand, has taken over the theme because you kind of build your theme with the theme builder inside of the Elementor plugin, making the options that all the different themes have less relevant. And now they've even started competing with hosting companies because they've introduced Elementor Cloud. And it doesn't have as many features as the other hosting companies have yet, but it's a big move nevertheless. GoDaddy, another big hosting company, has their own website builder as well. And GoDaddy is also the owner of ManageWP, which I use personally to manage all of my clients' websites. WordPress itself has of course WordPress.com, where they sell hosting, and this has been here for years, but now they've started to build their own page builder called Gutenberg. And it's still in the beginning phase, but it's slowly getting better. So WordPress is becoming more than what it used to be. So these companies slowly provide a more complete experience than just one single service. So what I realized is that this will result in centralization of the WordPress world. Instead of what it is right now, it's all spread out. And personally, I don't think that it will become as closed as a system like Apple, for example, because inside of WordPress, you can still switch easily, but it will become harder to know which big system to pick. Not that it's easy right now to know what to pick, so maybe it will get better, but I think it will get more centralized. So what do you think? Am I going crazy or is this the direction that WordPress is heading to? Is this a logical consequence of the maturing of the website market? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts as well, because right now it's just a conversation in my mind. Let's have that one together. And by the way, if you have missed it, I did an interview with Elementor on the Elementor channel with Ziv. Uh, which was really cool to do and Ziv asked me some questions about how it is to run a web design business. But I have to say though, the sound in the video is not that good because there were many people around. It was very hard to get the sound right because I was there with them and they really tried their best. So if you don't mind that, then the video might be interesting as well. I will put it in the YouTube card and in the description below. Again, leave your thoughts below and then I hope to see you in the next video on Living With Pixels. Thank you.